Hey, good evening everybody. Hope everybody is well. Today I'm going to try to do a five minute or less book review of the graphic novel Lock and Key, Welcome to Lovecraft, written by Joe Hill and illustrated by Gabriel Rodriguez. Now this would be my first venture into graphic novels because I'm not really a graphic novel or comic enthusiast, but I figured why not Hope I'm not making you dizzy. But I figured why not let me try something different and quick and fast. So I picked this one up. Lock and key. Excuse me. Originally I went to Barnes and Noble to check out the graphic novels. I looked through Watchmen. I looked through Walking Dead, which I love this show, so I was gonna get that one. But I didn't I wasn't feeling the graphics. It wasn't drawn well enough for me I guess so I rebound it to this one and I'm glad I did because it is actually pretty good so I'll get right into it give you a very very quick synopsis of what this is about it's about the Locke family hence the name they experience a tragedy in the beginning of the novel which causes them to move from San Francisco to Lovecraft Massachusetts now <clears throat> the family consists of three children the youngest of the three children, Bodhi, goes into the house and finds a key that opens um, certain doors where supernatural things begin to happen. And essentially that is where the story begins because whenever he opens these doors, it begins to explain the events that led up to the tragedy in the beginning of the book. So basically throughout this novel, you're going through a lot of flashbacks that are piecing together everything that happened to explain the tragedy at the beginning of the book. So it is a really good plot. It kept me interested. I'm going to scream. Just keep moving. I'll run down with the um, pros and the cons for this book. My pros like I mentioned before, which I don't like to repeat myself, but I seem to be doing that, or, <clears throat> excuse me, that is a well-written book, as is what I expected from Joe Hill. The plot was interesting enough to keep me turning the page. I didn't get bored, except in the beginning, it was a little slow, but I didn't get bored, and once I got into it, I was really interested to see what happened. Each of the characters were well developed. Um, at no point did I get irritated or annoyed by any of the characters. Um, so I, I thought that was really a good point in the book. Another pro in the book are the graphics. The, dra the drawings are really good. Let me give you an example. really well illustrated and I'm the type of person that I would like to look into the pictures and see little details and just continually look at the, the pictures to see how nice they are so I enjoyed that aspect of the book my cons for this book is not many but like I mentioned before it was a little slow to begin with it took me about 50 pages to get into it before I hit that stride where I was really into the story and wanted it to keep going. 50 pages does not sound like a lot. 50 pages in a graphic novel is probably equal to maybe 100 to two page to 200 in a regular novel. So for me, 50 pages was a little bit long to get into the book. But once you get into it, it's pretty good. So overall, I would recommend this if you're not really into graphic novels. Um, and you just want to try something new and different. This is a good adult graphic novel. It's not a children's graphic novel because there's blood and other things going on in here. So I would give this a four out of five stars. It's, it's pretty good. And I'm ordering the second novel, um, volume two. So once I finish with that, I'll let you know how it goes.